So we're going to go into guided setup again. We're going to name this one Monero. Is there just an R? Yeah, there's an R. So we'll call it just Monero R for right now, for our purposes. And then we're going to choose number 30. So if you're using CN, which is Crypto Knights, uh, SRB Miner version 1.8, that's the latest one that's out there on Bitcoin Talk as of last night. I haven't checked this morning. It might have been updated again, but that's the latest one that's out there right now in their guided setup. Number 30, option 30 is the V4R. Oh, did I just type 3030? 30, oh, 30, enter. Yes, we'll, tr we'll try it both ways. All right, where are we at in this? Paste, we're gonna get rid of the SSL on this. So that that little uh, slash enable forking is great if you already have this set up. If you do not, this guided setup will get you to the point that you need to get to. Do you wanna set up a password for mining pool? No, is this nice hash? No, yes on the SSL. And we're gonna paste in the wallet again, far more stellar in the crypto community doing um, GPU mining. Uh, the people that mine, right? I mean, the crypto community is a big place, but not a lot of people mine. A lot of people can participate in crypto, but a handful mine. Do this, we did not do the uh, basic proof of work. What happens? Every miner out there, I don't care if you have an FPGA, an ASIC, a GPU, we all get served the same work. So pools take all that pooled hash power. We're all work, we're submitting shares against the same work, trying to find essentially a special key for that particular work. So it doesn't matter what blockchain you're on, if you were able to use proof of work mining you're all doing essentially the same kind of thing with a particular network or algorithm that you have. If the proof of work that I'm working on could be done by another specialized device, it could do it much faster. It has a higher chance to not just only find the, the special key that unlocks the coins that are given for each block. They can do it much faster and then you can pull all them together and pretty much take over essentially the network to where a GPU is just gonna not be able to compete in that, that effort. This hard fork essentially is changing the rules of the proof of work. So each machine gets this, this essentially template that says, solve this problem. And here are the rules that you were guiding you through. So that rule set is essentially the algorithm. The algorithm today is changing in, you know, when I'm in this view, you, we lose the, the counter in roughly 20 minutes. So that tw in 20 minutes, the rule set's gonna change and all that specialized equipment can no longer decipher essentially that, that problem set. So it essentially makes them inert. It doesn't, and whoever is responsible for maintaining the bit streams, the special coding for the FPGAs, which are programmable gate arrays, they're essentially like a GPU, but you can program it. Um, they have to go back to the drawing board and figure out, can we put this new solution set or this new uh, way to solve the proof of work? Does it fit on the silicone that I have on my FPGA? ASIC makers, if they stamped it, it's kind of like, like branding it. You're branding the proof of work um, effort on, on chip. So once that's kind of stamped, it only does that. It's kind of a roundabout way of saying it kind of on the fly of how it works. But um, in reality, it's just that proof of work is changing. The rule set's changing today. We're kind of excited about it because it's gets the GPU miners back in the fray of things. And it's a much more distributed model when you have GPU miners. Now, I'm gonna keep this screen up right here because I wanna watch it change. Releasing GPU sources. Oh, there it is. There it is, bros. Initializing miner for normal V4. Just happened, just happened. I, I opened that up at the right time. We're forked, running V4. Just changing it up. We're at 1,022 watts. New job sent to pool. We're on new, normal V4. Pool just accepted the result. That's a good thing. We're at 826 hash. Really any mega hash difference. It's working. This machine's at 825. We were at about 840 before 830. Uh, but you can see the, I think the guy, we'll have to go back and look in the video, but I think the guy that had the 4,000 4, kilo hash, his address is Gonzo. Take a look at this. Open this in a new window. Oh, he's down, bros. This is just this is just fading. Boom, 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 boom. Dead. Knock, standing them up, knocking them down. How about you? Wrecked. <laughs> Another one. Deadzo. How about number three on uh, Nano Pool? Dead. Oh my God. This this thing's gonna drop a. <laughs> this is like the kill board now. This isn't the top miners. They need to put a scratch. This. Somebody needs to mock this up. I I'm expecting some of you guys out there on. Uh... Oh look at look, where everybody's hitting Nano Pool now. Everybody's hitting nanopool. They're all looking at it. Somebody needs to take a screenshot of this and put a swipe through this and say top kill board. Oh, server, I bet. Nanopool just got choked. 